Hello, today we've got this sleigh bed and this sleigh bed is too long and too wide so the plan is to cut it down. I've got a student with me today helping but we've just I just want to show you this that we've just picked up on is the fact that um, can you see that how straight that straight edge is uh, showing how, how bent the end is well that one's not too bad but the one that really stood out is this one so this end is about running about half an inch out then on closer inspection we can see down here that there's some cracks got to shorten this by about four inches and, and what I'm after really is the worst end I want to um, I mean can you see that gap there it's already yeah it's dropped it's moved so there's a lot of work that needs to be do, done to it to to not only get it in good condition but to actually suit a modern day mattress so some would say this isn't the right thing to do but actually it is it's what the customer wants it saves the bed it's uh, look at that gap there as well it's the right thing to do so we're going to remove this end this morning looking at this end there are no fixings there are no screws there's nothing actually holding this together so we don't know how it's held together yet oh there's a nail there one nail there and the rest is just a bit wobbly so I can, I can wobble that. Anyhow, let's knock this end off and see what happens. Just rubbing my hand across there so that the head doesn't hit any of it. Starting to open there. Don't know whether it's doweled or... Well, oh, there's a tenon going in here. I think that's moved up. I don't know. We'll see. It's coming apart slowly. Tenon's out. Interesting glue. something's broken just remember it can always be fixed it looks like it's just come on nailed on right concentrate on getting this bit off Right, that's not bad. Looks like it's a, a modern adhesive. Doesn't smell like a hard glue. Still a lovely bed, horrible staples, that's a shame about that. Would have been nice to have had a couple of dowels in there, might have to do that. So that's done, but at the same time I was doing that, uh, this end fell off. Yeah, fell off. And I was told that it was, um, this is spent out some time outside in the rain. Yeah, anyhow, uh, they wanted 100 mil off. But I've not taken 100 mil off, I've taken 95 mil off. You always want a few mil of play to tuck the sheets in and whatever. So um, a couple of mil will be fine. Be a two, two and a half mil either side. So that's good. I've got to work on that. So that end's chopped. 
the panel's not looking too bad. Um, I think I'm getting my head round it. I think what I'm going to do is uh, work out which is the top and bottom. I'm going to add a strip onto one of the um, onto the bottom. If I add a strip onto the bottom, see water damage here. If I add a strip onto the bottom, that means the panel can go up. It has got a big mortise. Let me find it. Here's the mortise. Uh, again, modern adhesives. A bit strange. Yellow colour. Weird. Um, but nothing down here. No support or anything. So I can see me putting a couple of extra blocks on just to um, just to make sure it's got it properly. And this is quite rough in there, but I'm, you know, that's all right. It's all right. This is another thing that's broken that I've got to sort. Silly, really. Two screws holding it. The middle screw there isn't going into anything at all. So that middle screw is a waste of time. So we should have put a block behind it. I'll probably be putting a block behind it. So that will sort that problem out. Uh, yeah, a bit to do. This wood, it's a, it, it feels like it's a type of mahogany, but it's, um, it's incredibly brittle. And it's, um, I'm surprised it's, I'm surprised it's let go this easy. But hey ho, we can fix it. What I'm going to do is I'm glue, going to glue all this end back on here. And then I'm going to slice it through. So pull that bit in, drop that down, and then allow that bit to close up after. Let's do that. Let's do that and adjust. Can you see the glues in out of here? Probably that you guys can't see sometimes. Um, there you go. The good thing is the, um, all the polish will uh, stop the glue from sticking to the bits I don't really want it to stick to. So uh, I, can, I can go a little bit mad around the outside. Oh, that's okay. That's okay, it's got to come off. Yes, yeah, so before we start shouting and crying, what's he doing with that? Go and look at the other furniture pieces I've done. And there you go, there you go. No glue. Oh, there's a spot of glue. Or oh, have I just cracked the glue line? Crack the glue line. That's going to be that nail. There you go. There you go. 95 mil that way. That's ready to go back on. So you can see, this has been messed with before, look. Nail, nail, nail. Oh, that's where they've pinned that on. Can you see that strip there? They've added a strip and they've pinned it on. That's right. 
transfer the 95 lines out. I'll just do them straight on this side as well. Just noticed that tape that, oh my life, do you want to see it? Mm, sometimes it makes you smile. Look at the taper on that tenon. What sort of angle is that? <sighs> if you enjoy my channel and what I do, you can donate and support the channel. If you scroll down, go to the thanks button which is just there hit that you can choose to donate two pound five pound ten or fifty pounds which helps me improve my channel cheers guys